Okay, just uh, thanks you guys for being here. Excited to get this win. Uh, San Jose State plays such a unique style, and I think our players really bought into what we wanted to do for, for the most part. Um, you know, for a majority of the game, San Jose State does a great job when you when you lapse in that of making you pay. So I thought they challenged us all night. Um, really liked how our um, our players shared the ball. Uh, I thought Brittany had a spectacular court game, and I think she realizes she can control the game in many ways, not just scoring. Um, and, and I loved her leadership tonight. Um, and we're just get, get ourselves rested and, re and ready to try to win a championship on our home court tomorrow, which is a, a neat opportunity. Questions for Brittany? So, were, you, were you aware that you were on this uh, street of the street of <laughs> uh, No, I wasn't aware until like halftime because I was talking to my uh, assistant coach. Um, we were talking about my turnovers. And she was just like, don't focus on that, you know, focus on. She was just like, just kind of showed me the other stats, like just focus on the, the more positive things. And then I didn't realize that I did get it until when she said it in, in the office. I mean, in the locker room. Looking at your career mm -hmm. from your first year to now, did you ever think that you would be at this point of saying, you know, I've got history, second Um No, I didn't think uh, the second player, I never thought it that far. You know, I always just had confidence in myself that I could always do great things. and um, But I never – this wasn't just like, oh, I think I could be the second player in Pac-12, <laughs> you know, to get a triple-double. But, you know, I always have confidence in, my, confidence in myself. And I know that, you know, my coaching staff, you know, they do a good job of preparing the team to do great things. So. Uh, the big number was 13 rebounds. Yeah. Usually you would figure, oh, she'll get that 10th rebound with, like, 30 seconds to mm -hmm. go to slide in. Yeah. But um, is that – I mean, obviously there's a lot of shots. Mm -hmm. Were you doing anything special or just, um, just kept coming? No, you know, I, a coach said before the game it's going to be a lot of possessions, uh, like 40 extra possessions just because of the pace of the game and, you know, long shots. I mean, you know, three-pointers three make long shots, so just getting to the ball. You know, one thing we said uh, coming into the game was rebounding and, you know, keeping them off the board. So that's something that we emphasized uh, pretty heavily. Um, in the uh, pregame stuff. And you only took um, six shots. Um, oh, yeah. That, right? oh, four, four shots. Four shots. Four yeah. Shots, yeah. Six free throws. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure you're not conscious of mm -hmm. that, but I mean, clearly you had a size advantage mm -hmm. for you looking inside from the start. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think the one thing that, keep, that gets us going is feet of Rashonda Gray. Um, you know, just. What she can do, nobody can do, and nobody can guard. So, um, you know, that's how I get my momentum going, and I think that's how the team go, gets their momentum going, is feeding her the ball, just off of her and ones. You know, it gives us a lot of energy. But um, when you have a dominant post player like that, you will want to give her the ball. So, you know, no matter if she fumbles one time, you know, I'm going to continue to give her the ball no matter what. She looks like she gets annoyed if you don't give it to her. <laughs> She's got her hand up there. Right. It's like, how come you didn't? Yeah, yeah. Is there sort of a fear mm -hmm. out there? If you don't oh, no, 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 no. I think we have a good relationship. You know, oh, she wow. knows that I'm going to give her the ball, you know, no matter what. So, um, but, you know, she knows when she has a mismatch and she's going to take every advantage she has, you know, when that mismatch comes. Did you purposely want to play them to sort of get a feel for that running a game? Or did it just Not necessarily. I mean, scheduling is a tricky art. Uh, you know, Charmin does that for us and does a great job. But, um, you know, we try to play the local teams. I think it's good for our fans. I think it's good for, you know, opposing fans. Um, so for, to get them in our tournament is great. Uh, obviously, we have some familiarity because of Oregon uh, yeah. in the past. Um, and so we can kind of reference back to, okay, the, you know, this is what we did against Oregon or this is the style of game it is and our players have some familiarity with it. So I think maybe we're more comfortable than some teams playing against it. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it's hard to describe. It's hard to get them to feel it on film until you start running up and down. So I thought our players did a pretty good job for the most part of, of you know, being able to uh, excel in that kind of, you know, crazed tempo. Right. And does that make it any tougher to come back and play tomorrow? Well, I had some – you know, concern when I was looking at the weekend, but I, I think I was actually able to balance the minutes pretty well um, yeah. and, and rest some, some players a little bit more and get experience for other people. So I think we'll, we'll be just fine. Uh, Courtney Range had a really nice, well, a lot of people had uh, really nice games. Gabby Green shot the ball. Probably this is the first time she really shot yeah. the ball well. Yeah. You've been sort of waiting for that to happen. Uh, Gabby's been so good um, for us. Uh, and I think sometimes 
because we have Boyd, who's such a spectacular passer, you almost don't even notice until you're watching film how good of a passer Gabby is. She just makes pro plays with how she uses her body. So, uh, you know, she had seven assists at the half. Um, she doesn't get rattled by anything. And we see her shoot the ball well in practice every day, and she gets extra shots. So we've continued to say, as when her shots start, fall and watch out, you know, and I thought tonight was, was a good night for that. But the great thing about Gabby is that her demeanor never changes and right. she's incredibly coachable. And I think the sky is the limit for her um, because of that demeanor. So it was nice to see some of those shots go down, but no, I wasn't surprised. Of the five players that were in double figures, two were first years. Are you uh, surprised by their development? Do you think that they're ahead of what you expected? You know, I, I've said this a couple of times. Uh, I, I, knew better than anybody how good Gabby and Michaela are because, you know, I've recruited them for so long and, and seen them so much because they're local. And, and even with how high my expectations were, they've exceeded them. A lot because of their basketball IQ. I mean, you never quite know how quickly people are going to pick things up in terms of scouting reports and how hard to practice and all of that. Um, and, and they've both been just sort of off the charts in terms of their ability to step in and you know, contribute at a high level right away. So yeah, I've been pleasantly surprised. But of course, now that I know they're capable of that, we're pushing them a little harder. Um, you know, I just keep saying, don't wait, don't wait to be great. You know, you can do it right now. And uh, and, and they've also really kind of included Nina in that, in, in the way that their class kind of carries himself and performs. Um, and it's neat to see that. Um, but but we have some, some special ones and the way they're blending is pretty cool. Nina as in Nina? Yes, yes, oh, sorry. Were you at all um, happy with her performance down the stretch? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're we're really confident in Nina, and and no question in my mind that she's going to continue to develop. Um, the more minutes I can get her, I think she can play through some of the adjustment things. And I tell her all the time, you know, you're you're a normal freshman. In some ways, Gabby and Michaela are not normal with how kind of smooth the transition's been. And so it's just kind of keeping, you know, she does so much extra film shots. So uh, the more that we can get her in there and get her experience, it's going to be good for her and good for us. So I thought she did some nice things, and she's just going to keep getting better.